This evening's performer is Miss Chloe Tan. <laughs> Chloe is our first prize winner of Division Two. She is 12 years old from Spraven, New Hampshire, and she attends the Portsmouth Christian School. This young lady has an amazing resume for someone so young. She has multiple competition, first prizes in national and international competitions here and in Europe. She has already participated in festivals in Europe and performed as a soloist with an orchestra in Perugia, Italy, which is really quite amazing. She has performed multiple concert halls here in the United States and has had several performances at Symphony Hall. So this is really quite something to, to have Chloe here as part of this concert series and one of our winners for the second time first prize in this competition. First time was two years ago when she received the first prize in Division One. So that is possibly a record if I have to check on that one. Chloe, how are you this evening? I'm good, thank you. Welcome, it's so wonderful to have you. It's so exciting. Yeah, it is. You have been playing since you were four years old. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about your musical journey with us this evening? Okay, so I started when I was four. My grandma got me this little toy pink piano, had like some buttons. It was very small, but I was very intrigued by it. And then we decided to see if there were any online lessons that were free. We went on YouTube, we found a few. <laughs> and then eventually it got to the point where my one and a half octave piano was not enough. So we got a different piano. And then we started lessons with my teacher, Mr. Polly. Oh. And then I think that's it. That's about it. That's it. Well, speaking of your wonderful teacher, I would like to invite Mr. Greg Pauly. Congratulations on this tremendous accomplishment. This is really something for you and for her because it's a testament to both your work and to the family. Would you like to share some thoughts about your musical journey with Chloe? Well, it's certainly been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I was somewhat dubious of a four year old starting piano lessons with me, but uh, she seemed to make a good fit with me as a teacher. And it's been a lot of fun. She's, she's certainly precocious and brilliant and talented and a lot of fun to work with. Yes, th that's, that's no doubt about that. Could you share a little bit about the experience because I understand that uh, Madame Guinalavare was your teacher and then you brought this wonderful protege with you there. So I would love to hear and I know your audience at home would love to hear about this story, how all that came about and that experience. Would you like to start? I don't know what to say this summer. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's really a remarkable festival, and the, the, the main um, emphasis on this festival is performance with orchestra. So uh, everyone has an opportunity to audition with the orchestra. They get to play a complete movement of, of a concerto with the orchestra as an audition. Mm -hmm. And if the level is high enough, they are invited to perform in concert at one of the several, the many venues we, we uh, are fortunate to use in Perugia. And there are amazing teachers, including Ilana Barrett, of course. Uh, many others from around the world, mm -hmm. and they they all uh, give master classes, uh, you know, the open lessons basically, mm -hmm. so anyone can listen at any time. And Chloe had the good fortune of studying with some wonderful faculty members while she was there, as well as performing with orchestra. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fun. Well, how was that? Oh, oh, that was um, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it, and it also meant that I got to hide behind the orchestra because I was very small. <laughs> That's a very special experience, and also yes. you participated in Madame Verret's masterclass for the Chopin Etudes. Now, mm -hmm. for our audience, the Chopin Etudes, you can call them the Magna Carta of the Romantic piano. And to have someone so young already playing them is a tremendous accomplishment. So, bravo, and that is really something. Which Etude did you play? Opus 25, number two? Opus 25, number two, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. How wonderful. 
That is a spectacular piece. Spectacular. Are you working on any other Chopin pieces? Number 11, right? Oh, the Winter Wind Day 2? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a lot more to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that there are a lot of fun. But what about the pieces you are performing this evening? You're going to be playing Mozart's Sonata in C major, the first movement, K330, by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Nocturne in D flat major, opus 27, number two, by Friedrich Chopin. Would you like to share some thoughts on those pieces? Yeah, so I really like both of them. I think the Mozart is very playful and elegant and kind of suits my personality, I think. <laughs> and then the Chopin Nocturne is very expressive and I, I really enjoy playing it and I don't think I've really gotten bored of it like some of my other pieces I have. <laughs> yeah. I are those pieces your choice or is it a mutual decision with your teacher? How does that work? Would you like to elaborate or? <laughs> well, I, I do often give students an opportunity to choose between yeah. one or two gotcha. pieces. And um, I felt very strongly that these were good matches for her. Well, so. obviously, <laughs> considering the result, you are 100% right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing this. And now I would like to present Miss Chloe Tan, in the repertoire of Mozart and Chopin. Bravo. 